Yes, this is a good place. These people are fortunate. County of Chilton, the developers, working together, have made this neighborhood as safe and as pleasant as possible. Communities have not always grown this way. Just a few years ago, things were quite different. Many streets had no paving. These pleasant homes are so close together that the occupants have little privacy. A fire could spread quickly, too. This steep, narrow street can never be widened because the homes are built right up to the sidewalk. Frequently, there was no coordination in planning the streets of neighboring subdivisions. This sometimes created traffic hazards. Subdividing this land today is more complicated, but the results are much better for everyone. Today, the Planning Commission has the responsibility for guiding community growth. An experienced subdivider will usually visit the office of the Planning Commission before beginning work on a new tract. In this way, he is able to coordinate his plans with those of other developers and public agencies from the very beginning. His reputation depends on doing the best possible job. The county employee is here to help him and at the same time promote the interest of the general public. The subdivider's engineer understands all the technical details of designing a good subdivision. He must design a tract which will meet the requirements of all governmental agencies. The subdivider explains the type of development he has in mind. Now it is the engineer's job to make the subdivider's dream come to life. The engineer must know all about this property. Surveyors determine its contours and exact boundary. This subdivision map is typical of what happened in the past. It shows very small lots and no streets. This is a modern subdivision map. Notice the attractive curved streets and the convenient commercial area. Service roads separate local traffic from fast traffic on a major highway. The required number of maps of the proposed subdivision are brought to the Planning Commission. After checking, copies are sent to all interested agencies. One copy of the subdivision map is circulated through the offices of the Planning Commission. Others are sent to government departments concerned with land development. They are also sent to school authorities and adjacent cities. In the commission offices, the subdivision is checked for conformity with all elements of the master plan. If it lies in the path of any proposed highway, the subdivider must give the right-of-way to the county. Here the commissioner's highway engineer checks the subdivision map with the master plan of highways, which shows all existing and proposed highways. Zoning on the property is determined. If the proposed development does not conform to land use zoning, the subdivision will not be approved. Experienced subdividers always check the zoning in advance. Subdivision planners study the map. If they think the design can be improved, their suggestions are discussed with the subdivider and his engineers. Street names are assigned by the Planning Commission. The names are carefully selected. Where existing streets continue through the tract, their present names are used. When new street assignments are created, they must be given names not already used elsewhere in the county. Three weeks after the maps are submitted, the subdivision is discussed with the subdivision committee. Each member has studied the subdivision in advance. Departments represented include the Regional Planning Commission, whose representative act as chairman, flood control, road department, county engineer, sewers, sanitation, storm drain, and health and parks. 
Each department states its requirements and some suggest improvements. Any point of policy which cannot be agreed upon in the committee meeting must be decided later by the planning commission. The nine-member Regional Planning Commission of Los Angeles County is composed of five regular members who are appointed by the Board of Supervisors and four advisory members who represent the Agriculture Commissioner, the County Engineer, the Road Commissioner, and the Director of Parks and Recreation. Responsibility for advising the Board of Supervisors on all matters pertaining to planning rests on the shoulders of the Commission. Only when all the requirements have been complied with does the Planning Commission give its final approval for the tentative subdivision. After the tentative subdivision map is approved, the subdivider's engineer prepares a final map meeting the requirements of all governmental agencies. This final map is checked by the county engineer to make sure that all requirements have been met and that there's no question as to the legal ownership of the land. Only then is the subdivision ready for approval by the Board of Supervisors. The Board of Supervisors is the elected governing body of the county. With thousands of items and county problems arising each year, including that of subdivisions, their difficult job is simplified by such agencies as the Regional Planning Commission. Approval by the Board of Supervisors is the go-ahead signal because their action is the final governmental check on this plan. After approval by the Board of Supervisors, the subdivision is then recorded. Now development can start on the ground. First, the land is graded for streets and home sites. Next, it is compacted to prevent the ground from settling after the homes have been built. There will be no cracked sidewalks and foundations here. Frames for walls go up. This is more than a division of land. It is a building of a whole community. Before anyone moves into these homes, this neighborhood will be complete from sewers to ceilings, from water pipes to sidewalks. Curbs and street paving will be installed. Clearly legible street signs will mark each corner for the convenience of postmen, doctors, firemen, and strangers. Each home in this community will be easy to find so that any emergency can be met with a minimum of delay. Even the lawns will be planted and trees will be growing in the yards. This is the completed subdivision. Notice the attractive curving streets. These houses are now homes, lived in by families who, by the careful planning of subdividers, engineers, and government officials, enjoy the convenience of generous yards and a well-planned community and are protected from floods, fire, and traffic hazards. Flood hazard has been eliminated by adequate fence drains. Schools planned at the same time as the subdivision are situated conveniently near the pupil's home. A freeway speeds traffic into the center of commerce and industry, but homes are protected by a service road. Service roads have been provided wherever the subdivision adjoins an important highway. They separate local traffic from fast traffic on the highway, and homes are set back farther from traffic noise. Nearby is a carefully planned shopping district. Ample parking space has been provided along the service road and in parking areas behind the stores. Yes, these families do have a pleasant community, but no single person deserves all the credit. These good things result from the wholehearted cooperation 
of subdividers, engineers, and many agencies of government, all serving in the interests of your community. Thank you.